Are you sure your gift is worthy to be giving to my young princess daughter? Yes, yes, sir. I would only bring her the best things in the land. Last time I checked, things was not in the script. Please remember your lines or you will be recast. Uh, I... Uh... Continue with the scene, please. Oh my, that's brilliant. She loves silver. How do you know? Because she always wears silver. It compliments her fur. And she was wearing it the first time I saw her. Which was the first time I fell in love. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's break for lunch and I'll make notes and we'll come back and correct these notes when we are all back. All right, you're dismissed. That was hard to watch. You're telling me. Oh, hey, Eric. I'll catch you later, Jen. So, I've been doing some thinking. Okay, about what? I've listened to every word you've said, and I agree with you. Okay, that was really vague. Which words? I have no friends. I have no life. Do I need to repeat it again? Oh, God, when it comes from somebody else, it sounds so mean. Uh, yeah, anyway, I was wondering if you wanted to hang out casually. No, no, no work. Is this a trick? No. And because you were local, I figured you might be the best person to show me the best beach on the island. And we can mosey around in the sand. What about rehearsal? You're not in these scenes and he's messed up far too bad for them to move any further in the play. So, let's go. <laughs> oh, I am so pretty. I don't even think I need a touch up. Do you need something? Well, I'd like to talk if that's okay. Of course it's okay. I love talking to you. I know we've been seeing each other in secret, but I'd like to be more serious. I really like you, Rachel, and I could see you being in my life for a long time. So I brought you these flowers so that you know I'm being serious and I mean every word. I've never met anybody like you, Rachel. You mean everything to me. Wow, Travis, I, I can't believe you're saying this. <laughs>